Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I would like to review a wig for you that is called Violet by Aesthetica Designs. Now, if you're interested in how she looks, how long she is, how the color looks, how I like her and what special features she has, then stick around and let's get started. So this is Violet by Aesthetica in the color Silver Sun RT8. This is the only style I have in this color and that probably will not change. Um, I must say I really like the style, but I'm not a fan of the color. I think Violet is one of the lesser known styles by Aesthetica and I think it's a really cute style. This is like typical 1930s Hollywood movie star hair, wouldn't you agree? Um, everything about it, you know, that swooping curl and the way the curls lay on the other side. Um, this just looks like old Hollywood to me, which isn't a bad thing. I really like it. Um, I'm just not too fond of the color, but we'll get to that in a minute. Poor Violet has been sitting in her box for over a year now, and I just have worn her once uh, when I went to see a show and thought it was fitting to the occasion. But other than that, especially in this color, she's a little too glamorous and old-fashioned for an everyday style for me. So I really wanted to try this color, Silver Sun RT8, because it was the lightest blonde, um, at least that's what the manufacturer says, um, that they had before they came out with the gorgeous sunlit blonde. And as you know, I love those very light and bright blondes. But this, to me, isn't really a blonde. I would say it's a very silvery, almost white, grayish color. I mean, I do like the color on others, um, just not on myself. Nowadays you would probably call this a fashion gray, and it's a color that is really hard to achieve when you go to the salon to look like this. I mean, you have to bleach it to death and then color it with the silver and the white and everything and the dark root. Now, I didn't find any color codes for this color, and the color description by Aesthetica reads, it's an iced blonde dusted with sand beige or sand blonde, I don't recall, although I just read it five minutes ago, and all that is on a golden brown root. I think this might be accurate. And if you look very, very closely, but you really have to be very close, um, you can see those really tiny strands of, um, sandy blonde running through the silver um, that probably should give it a blonde touch but in my opinion it's just too little to pass as a blonde plus the root is quite dark or at least well it's not that dark it just seems that dark you know with that very white color and uh yeah i think the color is just not for me now, the wig features a temple to temple lace front and a left side monofilament part. Now, let me show you this from up close. Um, as you can see, the lace front is really well done, I must say. Um, if I come even closer, you can probably see that I um, trimmed it with pinking shears because that's what the manufacturers suggest that you should use um, pinking shears because uh, A, you don't get that straight line that doesn't look natural, but through the zigzag pattern, it looks, it looks more natural. And besides, this also will keep the lace from fraying. And let's have a look at that mono part, which is always difficult without a mirror. I hope you can see it. Now the part is knotted too densely. For my taste, um, if I intended to wear this anymore, I would probably pluck the part with some tweezers to make it look more natural. The fibers are regular synthetic, so you won't be able to use any heat tools on this. Um, you can't straighten it with a flat iron or something. If you want to soften the curls or smooth it out a little, you could do this using steam from a steamer. Um, that should work. Or I think you could also use that new hot brush from René of Paris. Um, I've seen it work wonders. My friends Kim and Misty from Mimi's Wig Boutique just tested it yesterday and the results are really surprising. So if you would like this to be stick straight, you can use that tool. As far as I know, it does even work on regular synthetic. Now I will show you the length, as always, as an overlay all around the screen, so I won't have to bore you with the numbers. 
And you can probably guess, next week we talk about permatease. Let me tell you, this wig has permities, and it has a lot of permities, and it needs the permities to look this cute. Um, it has permities on top, a lot of it, um, to have that natural lift, otherwise it would be very flat. Um, then it ha has permities on the sides, everywhere, in the back, at the nape. Basically, there's permities all around. So if you hate permities, this style probably isn't for you. I think it's really cute. And I might get this in another color someday. Now let me show her to you from all sides, and after that also outside in natural daylight. She's cute and glamorous, isn't she? I must say I really like these curls. But now, let's have a look at her outside in natural daylight. So let's talk about styling, or let's try her with glasses first. And as you can see, it's not a problem. There's enough space between the ears and the ear tabs to fit glasses. Now, when it comes to styling, there's probably not so much you can do with her, um, but you could, for example, pin her up on one side and cre create an asymmetrical look. I really like this. That's how I wear my unfiltered and my flirt alert. Or you could wear her with a headband or a hat scarf and with those accessories probably take her to the 50s for your next rockabilly party. At least that's what I would do. And I think the color would also be great for a 50s theme, wouldn't it? But apart from that, like I said, you'd have to steam her to change the look or relax the curls. Now let's have a look at the cap and the special features from the inside. So, this is the cap from the inside. Here you can see that uh, lace front that goes from temple to temple. It's not extended. And it seamlessly goes into that monofilament part that has yeah, the regular length. And the width is, I would say, also standard. Um, then here she has that rose lace that covers the permities underneath. Um, she has closed ear tabs. Um, but not, not the velvety ones, um, it's just a fabric material um, with the metal stays inside that are bendable. And the rest of the cap is open wefted. She has an extended nape and adjustable straps with the hook adjusters that I don't really like. I prefer the Velcro type adjusters, but that will do as well. Overall, I'd say this cap is crafted pretty well. Okay, that was my little review of Violet. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave me a like and I'd be even happier if you also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my next videos. And there's a new one coming out each Friday at the moment. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be glad to reply. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're well. Stay that way and I will see you again in my next video. Take care. Bye bye. Reads. It's an iced blonde dusted with sandy. No sand. Dusted with sand. I knew it a minute ago. Um. What? The, what did they call? It? What did they call it? That new um, hot brush. I think it's called flat. No. Flat brush. Hot? No, I don't remember what it's called. I'd say this cap is... I'd say this crap. <laughs>
there's a new one. one coming out each Friday at the moment. Here. And there's a... Now let me show her to you from all sides. 